All right, so let's get started on MP2. Um, and I'm just gonna do a couple setup steps here uh, just to remind you kind of how to get things in the right spot. Before you start MP2, uh, you know, make sure that everything is done with MP1 um, and that you've committed all your changes. So I've already run these tests. I'm through MP1, I've got everything working. Um, and I've also committed everything. So I'll kind of show you that these tests are gonna pass um, and that all my work is committed and pushed. The reason for this is because as soon as we add the test suites for MP2, things are gonna stop working for a little while and that's what we're gonna kind of work on with this. Okay, so my MP1 tests are passing. Um, if I open up the, the commit dialog, you'll see that the change list is empty. That means that there's nothing to change. Okay, so I'm in a good spot to start with uh, MP2. So like I did previously, I've got a couple of things I need to do. I need to get the test suites, but I also need to get this new data file because we're actually gonna be working with a new data set for this part of the MP. So that new data file is gonna go into this directory, uh, app source main resources, where it's gonna sit next to restaurants.csv. So I'm gonna go down here, open up my downloads, grab my, oh man, I hate this, um, grab this preferences file, and I'm just gonna drag it right over here into my resources, uh, okay. I don't know why it's upset about this. Let's try this again. Um, all right, and hit refactor. Uh, awesome, okay. And I'll add it right away, right? You know, and, and, and I would suggest that you do this because this is the file that I do want to commit. Okay, so there it goes, cool. Uh, next thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over here to downloads and I'm gonna take that uh, MP2 test and now now I've got, uh, well, I'm not really ready to do this yet, am I? Uh, let me go put it back uh, in the downloads file because I need to open up the spot where it's gonna go. Okay, so there it is. Um, now I go back to my downloads, I take the MP2 test and I drag it over here. Uh, oh, what? I don't understand this. Um, I've never seen this error before, but we'll just try it again. Uh, and now it says refactor. I don't know why it thinks we need to refactor this and we're gonna add it. Okay, cool. So now you'll see that MB2 test is underlined in red and that's because there are uh, some changes that we need to make in order to get this to compile. And this is also gonna sort of provide us with a little bit of an overview of the work that we're gonna do on MP2. Um, and if we start scrolling through this, uh, you'll notice that uh, my, my restaurant uh, class is missing a get ID uh, method. So I need to work on that. I need a load preferences method. So, so I'm gonna go uh, through these in, and I'll show you what to do sort of in order. Um, okay, so in server.java, so I go over here and into my uh, server.java code, I need a method called load preferences. And that method is gonna be pretty similar to, uh, to load restaurants, actually. Um, and so I'm gonna put it, that's a static method, and where is load restaurants? It's right here. So I'm just gonna put it like right under here. So I'll say public static string, this uh, returns a string, it's called load preferences. Uh, and for now, I'll just return null. Um, and this is uh, MP2, MP2 part one, load uh, convert preferences uh, to CSV. Uh, uh, sorry, trim references CSV to JSON. So that's the first part of the MP that, that we're gonna work on. In fact, we'll talk a little bit about how to do that later, uh, later in this lesson. Okay, so that should now clear, awesome. Okay, so I'm gonna keep scrolling down here. Uh, and the next thing I see is that I need this model called preference. So actually, one of the things we're gonna do is we're gonna create a new model um, for, our, for our data. Um, and that's something that we'll use uh, in kind of the second part of, of our work. So I'm gonna go over here in the models directory and I'm gonna click new Java class and I'll call this uh, preference. And I should be able to hit this and it's gonna create it for me. Uh, and let's see if that's all I need to do. Um, and it looks like it is, except that I, th oh, no, nope, that looks right, okay. Um, Okay, that's good, that's good. Okay, so so that's, and, and I'm gonna put a little placeholder in here. I'll say, uh, this is MP2 part two, create a preference model. That's gonna be part of the next bit of uh, work that we're gonna do on the MP, which was gonna create a new model to store this new piece of data that we just brought in. You saw that preferences.csv file, that has information about um, the restaurant preferences of the staff that we're gonna use as part of our app to build some intelligence into it so that we can actually make recommendations um, 
Okay, cool. So I'm going back here. Um, now you'll notice that the client is missing a get preferences method. And this is uh, something else that I'm gonna need to add later. So I'm gonna go over here to my client code and there's a get restaurants method. Um, and this method is going to be pretty similar. So I'm going to put it uh, down here below uh, get restaurants and I'm going to call it uh, get preferences. And what this accepts is actually a callback method that should return a list of preferences. Um, okay, I need, I'm going to need to import this, that new model that I just created. And for now, what I'll do is I'll just call the callback method, and we're going to talk more. We're going to talk more about all this, right? So, so, so don't, don't, don't freak out. Um, I'm just going to call that callback method and pass it null, right? And again, what I'm doing here is really just what we call stubbing out. I'm just creating enough sort of empty skeleton uh, code so that my test suites can compile. And this is also going to be part of MP2 Part Two. Um, Client, so this uh, we're going to do some client server communication as the next thing that we look at as part of MP2, right? There is an existing part of MP, the MP, where you retrieve a list of restaurants from the server. We're going to add similar functionality to allow you to retrieve the list of preferences so that your app can use that as part of the, the, the UI. Okay, so now I have this uh, get preferences method. That's good. Um, my restaurant model does need this ID field. And it's possible that I haven't added that yet. Uh, you might have added that already as part of MP1 because you might have noticed that it's in the data already. So I'm gonna go over here to restaurant and try not to uh, show off too much of uh, the solution code here all at once. Um, this is probably safe. Um, so what am I missing here? So restaurant doesn't have an ID field. And so I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna add that pretty much in the same way that I added my uh, cuisine field here. So I'm going to add a field called ID, and then I'm going to add a method called get ID, and that's going to return the ID. And uh, we'll we'll look at this in a minute, right? Because you might want to go back to server.java and make sure that your load um, you, that your load uh, data method is actually uh, parsing this this uh, field properly uh, when you call when load restaurants is called. Okay, so that, uh, that eliminates a few other errors. Um, and then there's really uh, just, uh, it looks like two things that we need to do here. Uh, so I'm gonna scroll down and look at one of them. We're gonna add an activity to our app as part of this, um, as part of this checkpoint. So that's cool, we're gonna add a new screen. Um, and the test suite expects that activity to exist. And so in order to get that activity to exist, I need, to, I need to do uh, two things, right? One of them is, is really important. I need to create that activity class. So I'm gonna go over here into activities. And I'll do the same thing I did before. I say new Java class, and I'll call this uh, restaurant activity. Hit, hit uh, uh, enter. I'm gonna hit add because I do wanna add this file. Now I need to go back and look at my main activity for a minute. Uh, let me kind of hide up a little bit of this. Uh, you'll see that it extends something called the app compat activity. And I need my restaurant activity to do the same thing. Uh, this is an Android thing that uh, means that this is now something that can be used as part of the Android system to render a, a, a UI on the screen. Um, okay, so now I go over here and you'll see, and it's important that you put these things in the locations where we're expecting them because um, if you don't, the, the grader is going to get fairly confused. Um, okay, so I've got restaurant activity, that, that eliminated that. And now I need this uh, new class, and this is gonna be part of the last, so let me put a little note on this. Uh, this is uh, MP2 part three, new activity to display restaurant details. So that's gonna be something that we're gonna add together. Um, now I'm going back to MP2 test, and the last thing I need is something called related restaurants. So here I need to create a new model in my models directory but that model also needs to have a constructor and a method uh, that I need to step out. So I'm gonna go over here to models, I'm gonna hit new Java class, and I'll call this related restaurants. And what this uh, class is gonna do is it's gonna produce restaurant recommendations, or it's gonna identify restaurant relationships based on that new set of data that we just provided. Okay, so I'm gonna hit uh, enter. I'm going to hit add because I want it to be part of my project. Now, this method, if you look over here, what MP test two tests uh, requires, it requires a constructor that takes a list of restaurants and a list of preferences. So I'm going to add that here. I'm going to add public related restaurants 
it's going to take uh, a list of uh, restaurants. Um, I don't want all that restaurants. Uh, I need to be able to spell and a list of preferences, and I'll call that preferences. Um, and for now, I can just have this be uh, empty. I need to import my list class, uh, and I've got that. And now CheckStyle is going to want these to be final, so I'll just add that so it'll stop bugging me. Okay, so that's good. And now I've just got this one method I need to add called get related. And so if you look, it looks like get related is uh, supposed to return. Uh, let's see here. Um, so it's supposed to return a map from string uh, to to uh, integer, uh, and and we'll we'll figure out what that's going to do later. We'll talk about exactly what this method is supposed to provide. It's an instance method. It returns a map from string to integer, and we're going to call this get related, and it accepts a string, um, and we'll call this from, or maybe actually I'm going to call this restaurant ID. Uh, and this needs to be final, and I need to import my map uh, from Java Util. Uh, and for now, I can have this just return null. It doesn't actually need to do anything. Uh, okay, uh, let's see if MP2 test cleared all the errors. Looks like I have. Okay, so to review, we did a number of different things. So I just want to, well, let's step through each one of them together again in case you missed uh, something along the way. So let me close all these files. <laughs> uh, you see a little bit of all the different work that we have to do. Okay, so the first thing we did is we needed to bring in this preferences.csv file and mp2 test into our project and put them in the right spot. So you'll see that they are marked in, in green, right? These are new files that we added. Um, the next thing we had to do um, is we had to add code to our server. We had to add a method called load preferences, and that is right here. And that is a static method that returns a string. Um, so that's one of the things that we added. That's for part one of the MP. Let's see if I can get all of these, actually. Um, the next thing that we had to do is we had to add a model called preference. Uh, this is something that we're going to use in part two when we create a way for the client and the server to exchange information about the preferences that the server has access to. So the server is going to parse that into JSON. It's going to send that back to the client, and the client's going to deserialize it into this model. So this model is empty right now, but we will populate it with fields as needed. It's also possible that we needed to add something to our, our restaurant model over here. We needed to add this get ID field if it wasn't there already. Maybe you had that already because you added it as part of MP1. You didn't need to, but if you didn't, it's there now. Okay. Um, we also had to add a method to our client called get preferences. And this is something that is going to be used as part of the second part of MP2. Uh, uh, this get preferences method will be called by the client to retrieve preferences from the server in a way very similar to what we're doing with uh, get restaurants, which is the code that we're going to use as a model for this. Um, okay, cool. Uh, we also, what else do we need to do? Uh, we need to make any changes here, no changes here. Oh, we needed to create this restaurant activity. In the activities folder, we had to have it extend the app compound activity. This is going to be a new screen that in part three of the MP we're going to add that's going to allow us to start to display details about one restaurant. So we have a list of restaurants right now, but when somebody clicks on one, we want to open up a new um, activity to show them details about that restaurant. Um, and then the last thing we added was a new model called related restaurants. That's over here. Um, the related restaurants model is used to identify relationships between restaurants so that we can populate, eventually we'll populate that new uh, screen, that new activity that we created, restaurant activity, we'll populate it with this information. So we created this model. We also needed to create a constructor that took a list of restaurants and a list of preferences and a method uh, get related that accepts a string and returns a map from string to integer. And we will talk about what to do. Um, let me put a comment here. This is MP2 part four, identify relationships between restaurants. So this is part four of the MP is that we'll work on this. Okay, so once you have this done, you should be ready to run the MP2 test suites. Now you don't have a run configuration yet to do that. So let's create one. We go up here, hit edit configurations. And we can, what we can do is we can just copy the uh, test MP1 configuration. We'll call this test MP2. And down here, we'll change MP1 test to MP2 test. That's all we have to do. Um, click on that and let's run this. Now we don't expect anything to work right now because we haven't made any of the changes to the code required to actually solve any of the parts of MP2. So we're expecting all these tests to fail. We just wanna make sure that everything is compiling and that um, you know, the test suite can run. Right, which is which is important. 
if one of these does work, then I'll have some more work to do. Okay, good. They're all failing. Uh, that's what we expect. Last thing to do is go over here to grade.yaml. Don't forget to do this. Now we need to tell Android uh, the grader that when we run the grade task, we want to grade MP2, the second MP checkpoint. So now when I run this, I probably will get 10 points because I don't think there's any check style errors in my code right now. Um, but, you know, um, I shouldn't get any of the points for the actual tests, right? Um, okay, so I'm going to run this. I'm expecting to get uh, 10 points. I'm not expecting anything more than that because uh, the test cases are probably fa uh, still failing. Uh, I click on a score. I got 10 points. And this is a great time to commit, right? A great time to commit and push. So the test suites are, are imported. I've done the minimal amount of work I need to do in order to get them get started with them and I'm good to go. So I'm going to I'm going to do a commit. Now, one thing I want to just warn you about. In the past, we have sometimes suggested to students that they comment out portions of the test suites. And you can do this if it helps with your local testing. But here's the problem. When we test your code for an official score, we use our copy of the test suites. We don't trust your copy of the test suites. It's not about you. It's just simply that that's an easy way to get more points is to just change all the test suites so that they just return true and then you get all the points, right? So we don't, we don't let you do that. We use our copy of the test suites that gets copied over before we test your code. If you comment out portions of the test suites, that's fine. When we run your code, we're going to use our copy. Now, if you comment out portions of the test suite and when we run our copy, your code doesn't compile, you're going to get a big fat zero because if we can't compile your code, we can't run it, we can't run it, we can't test it. So just keep that in mind. I would suggest that you perform the following steps that we just did together over the last 10 minutes to get to the point where your MP2 code is compiling and running and failing all the test suites and then work forward from there. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and commit. My work, this opens up this, so you'll see the changes I've made. I've added preferences.cv, uh, .csv, preference.java, mp2test.java, related restaurants.java, and restaurant activity. These were all the new files I had to create. The new activity, two new models, the preferences.csv file that I downloaded, and the mp2test.java test suites. And then I made changes to grade.yaml. I modified that to go from one to zero. I made changes to client.java. I added that get preferences method. I made changes to restaurant.java, I added the load preferences method, and I made changes to, uh, oh, sorry, restaurant.java, I added the get ID method, and server.java, I added load preferences. So I'm gonna go ahead, uh, I'll say, uh, starting MP2, commit and push. Um, I, can, I can commit my work at this point, and, and we should be good to go. Okay, good luck as you're getting started uh, on MP2.